Your brain. If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline. I'm Madeline. I may be very small. I'm Madeline. I'm Madeline, but inside I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, diminutive petite, but that has never stopped her from being pretty neat. Dum dum dum, dum dum dum, Madeline, Madeline. She's Madeline. She's Madeline. We hope you have. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. <laughs> They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. <laughs> In another old house that stood next door lived Pepito, the son of the Spanish ambassador. Buenos dias, amigas. I have wonderful news. Pepito had an invitation. That brought a great deal of elation. A trip to Spain for our vacation. See, si, España. My parents cannot come, but we can stay with my aunt and uncle and cousins at their hacienda. Olé, Spain! Olé! It sounds formidable. It sounds fantastic. It sounds. Like we should ask Miss Clavel. Are you sure it is all right with your family, Pepito? See, si, Miss Clavel, and I promise you a wonderful time. In that case, merci, Pepito. It is a lovely invitation. <laughs> The very next week, all their clothing was stacked, and in an hour or two, their luggage was packed. Come along, little girls. They brought big hats for sun and umbrellas for rain. The girls were prepared when they hopped on the train. Before they all knew it, they were in Spain. When they got to the capital city, Madrid. There were all kinds of things that the little girls did. I love Madrid. Wow, see, wow, see. I want to see everything. The city gate. Look, the monument to Cervantes. Ooh. Ah. The city hall. Let 
Let me see. We must visit the Royal Palace and the Prado and all the other museums. And I, Signor Pepito, will be your guide. Follow me. Gracias, Signor Pepito. The Prado Museum has one of the greatest art collections in the world. Like the Louvre? But with more Spanish artists. And this is the Grand Salon of the Palacio Royal. The big room of the Royal Palace. Who gave they? That tablecloth. <gasps> Magnifique. Oh, those are tapestries, little girls. See, si, they cover the cold walls. Ben again, muchachos. <laughs> si, señor Pepito. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once. Ay! Where is number twelve? Oui, oui. Where is Madeline? Where is Madeline? Madeline! I think I know where she is. <laughs> oh, 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 Look at the camera, oh, Madeline. Smile, Madeline. <laughs> the next item Pepito had on the agenda was a trip to his family's grand hacienda. My little Papito. Tia Parker. Papito. Ay, how you have grown. Tio Paco. This is my Aunt Parker and Uncle Paco. Bienvenidos. Welcome everyone to El Rancho de los Sombreros, the Ranch of the Hats. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> Oh, do not mind the doc. She thinks my head is an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I think she is hungry. Now you children play, and soon we will all have a delicious and well so a feast. Our three sons will help you with your suitcases. Come, Senorita Clavel. We will show you your room. <laughs> Suddenly, we heard a terrible noise. It was Pepito's three cousins, who were all naughty boys. Mis primos, my cousins! Pepito! <coughs> <coughs> ah, I see you haven't changed. I am Paquito. I am Pablito. And I am Panchito. Bonjour. Hmm. Allow me to help you with your luggage. Arriba! Oh! Oops! <laughs> Oops! Oh dear! It slipped right out of my hands. Oops! That is not very nice. <laughs> I am very sorry. It was an accident. To show there are no hard feelings, would you like an olive? We oui, merci. I love olives. Ow! 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 Pepito, aren't you going to join Come us? On. No, uh, you see, uh, I do not like olives anymore. <laughs> Donne moi! What Pepito is trying to say is that he used to be a naughty boy, but he is not any longer. He was worse than a naughty boy. He was a bad hat. And you boys are worse than bad hats. You are mean hats. Nasty hats. Horrible hats. Mean and nasty, horrible hats. <laughs> <laughs> but they are my cousins, Madeline. They are nothing but mean and nasty, horrible hats. Regardez! 
continue to act like the dickens. In the barnyard, the girls found them lassoing chickens. They lassoed chickens by the dozen. All of them are horror with those cousins. That night, there was a giant party. The food was plentiful and hearty. Oh, how I love the estas. You damn bien. Mmm, paella, my favorite food. But I think it is missing a little something. <laughs> <laughs> As one guest ate her evening meal, she found a slimy, wriggling <gasps> eel. It caused a loud and piercing squeal. <laughs> These boys are even worse than Pepito used to be. We. Oui. We, oui, Miss Clevel, they are mean and nasty, horrible acts. Drive safely, Pepito. Do not go far and be home for lunch. Au revoir, little girls. Out of the window, Miss Clever. When the sun came up the morning after, the girls recalled the mean hat's laughter. Those mean and nasty horrible hats should be taught right from wrong. That is true. Absolutely. Those bad boys should be taught a lesson. We I have not. Great. I so mean. Forget my cousin. Pepito replied, for he had a surprise in the countryside. Parate, bro! We are here! Oh, look at him! Oh, he's so pretty! My cousins want to be bullfighters when they grow up. Here is where they practice. Sounds like fun, no? It does not sound like fun to me. Huh. Madeline, where are you going? Do you not want to see the bullfight? No. I do not want to see anything those horrible acts do. Madeline walked away when she saw a sad thing. A baby bull was trembling. Bonjour, poor little bull. Why are you so frightened? <gasps> Here, Toro, Toro, Toro! Madeline was not impressed when she saw how those mean hats were dressed. She thought that the bull could use a rest. Miss Ami, regardez this poor bull. Madeline brought all her friends round to see. They must save the poor bull immediately. Oh, he does look frightened. Very frightened. But of course, a bullfight is hard enough on a bull, but with those horrible hats. 
This bull does not stand a chance. Toro, Toro. <laughs> Pepito, we need your help. We need to rescue that poor bull from the mean, nasty, horrible hats. But they are my cousins. I should not want to trick them. <laughs> Madeline, we will trick them. They are mean and nasty, horrible hats. So Pepito kept the horrible hats at bay while the girls planned to lead the bull away. It will just be a few momentitos more. But we want to fight now. Me too. But the longer the bull is in his pen, the angrier he will be when he comes out. And the angrier he is, the better, no? See, the angrier the better! Olé! Do not worry, little bull. We will help you escape. Veed! Veed! Quickly, quickly! Hurry, everyone! My cousins will not wait much longer! Pepito, regarde that bull! <laughs> we call him El Enojado! <laughs> What's that mean? Just look at him and you can guess. Quickly, everyone! There is not much time! Feet, feet! Rapido, rapido! The little girls led the Torito away to a beautiful meadow where he could now play. Hello, little bull. This is your new home. Voila, Pepito! We are here! could no longer wait for the poor little bull to come out of his gate. Uh, it, it looks like the cowardly Torito is filled with spirit today. Ooh, la, la. So they opened the pen of a bull filled with hate. Toro! 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 <laughs> ah! ay, ay, It is El Enojado! should fight his bull manana. Or in 50 years. This bull chased the hats right up a big tree. Ah! They were as frightened as frightened could be. Adios, Pepito! Adios, little girl! Adios, Miss Clavel! Buen, Buen viaje! Merci! Au revoir! Soon it was time to return to France. <gasps> but the ex hats wanted a second chance. Thank you, Poquito, Pablito, and Panchito. Now we are no longer mean and nasty, horrible hats. Me too! Me neither! Me neither, too! <laughs> no, my God. Those days are over. 
Madeline said she thought they'd find it is much better to be kind. That is what I have found. Geronimo! <laughs> they were no longer mean. They no longer made noise. In fact, those three cousins were wonderful boys. Adios! Come again, boys! We will be back to the house next time. Adios! They rode through the country for almost two hours and passed the young bull who was free in the flowers. Pepito, what is that man doing? Oh, he's been here for a long, long time. He thinks he's a knight from olden times, saving a lady. Hmm. Then it was time to take the train and bid a fond adios to Spain. Then soon, they were all home again. <laughs> Buenas noches, little girls. Dream of castles and windmills and knights and ladies. Buenas noches, Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you.